looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Haley. Tomorrow, Texas Senator Ted Cruz is expected to be the first to announce he's running for president in 2016. It appears Cruz will skip an exploratory committee and go straight to candidacy. The move could galvanize other candidates to make announcements. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us now with reaction from both sides of the aisle. Right, well, Stephanie Cruz is getting publicity simply by being the first high profile candidate to officially join the race. And while that may generate enthusiasm within his party, some analysts say he has some work to do to be competitive in New Hampshire. Texas Senator Ted Cruz will be the first to announce a 2016 run for the White House. Multiple news outlets report the 44 year old first term Republican will declare his candidacy Monday at Liberty University in Virginia. I think what you'll see as a result of him getting in is I think the process will speed up, more people will jump in, you'll have a little bit of a domino effect uh, as the race really starts to heat up. Political analyst Dean Spiliotis says the social religious candidate faces an uphill battle in New Hampshire where independent voters may be hard to sway. He's usually seventh or eighth in the polls in New Hampshire, uh, so he's got a lot of work to do here. Looks to me like he'd be a good candidate, so I don't put anything past it. In a crowded GOP field, Republican analyst Tom Rath says Cruz could make it a contest. His primary is a conservative primary. He almost has to ignore the middle and just run as hard as he can and become the biggest vote getter. So he becomes the conservative alternative to a more establishment candidate. The Democratic field is quieter, with only a handful of possible presidential candidates. The fact that all these Republicans are getting in and getting in early uh, creates a situation where uh, the momentum has to shift a little bit to the opponent. Democrat State Senator Lou D'Alessandro says many party members are waiting to see what Hillary Clinton does. The perception is, and the perception has been really the mantra, that Hillary will announce one of these days and will run for president. As for Cruz, Spiliotis thinks the Democrats might try to label him as what they believe is wrong with conservatism. Cruz is someone that the Democrats will use to paint the party as a whole as being extreme, as being too ideologically conservative and not open to compromise or, or moderate positions. Tom Rath, the Republican analyst, doesn't think we'll see any more presidential announcements this week. He says if they declare candidacy now, they'll have to file a campaign finance report. And he says candidates haven't raised much money so far, and by waiting a week, they won't have to file a report until July. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.